Bay County dog owners are feeling anxious about a mysterious canine respiratory illness. So far, the disease has turned up in 14 states, including Florida. As News 13's Bailey Nichols tells us, a local veterinarian is recommending pet owners take precautions against the deadly illness. No one knows much about the sickness that first showed up in August in the northwestern part of the U.S. Right now they're just calling it canine infectious respiratory disease. The illness is contagious and has been spreading to other parts of the country. A few hotspot cases out there started to develop and it has slowly started to move across the United States. Um, right now I think a lot of the cases are in like the um, East Coast. Infected dogs have displayed some common symptoms, including inflammation, weight loss, difficulty breathing, and even pneumonia. Untreated, it can lead to death. Veterinarians have seen some success treating sick dogs with antibiotics, but it doesn't always work, and so far there is no cure. They recommend limiting your exposure to dogs that you don't know, so play dates with unknown dogs, dog parks, dog beach, pet stores, try to limit your exposure there. Dr. Baker says she hasn't seen any cases yet, but has received a lot of calls from concerned pet owners. Some dog owners are already taking that advice to heart. It's still a concern because we don't know if it's airborne or how it's transmitted. So, Well, uh, if I hear that it's progressing towards Florida, I will stop pretty much uh, going to the dog park. and They're going to be exposed to things that they may not normally be exposed to at home. In Panama City, Bailey Nichols, News 13, Panhandle Strong. If your pet has a chronic cough or is sick for more than 48 hours, Dr. Baker recommends you take them to your regular vet or the nearest animal hospital.